Alright, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my playthrough of Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Last time when we played, we had a very interesting questline with the Danes, where we were trying to get back a town for them that had been overrun with their enemies. Also, we had to figure out who was the the person who had betrayed the Danes, and we finished figured that out, and that questline's done. So now, here we are in the Danes uh, camp, and what we need to do is regroup with Soma's clan, because remember... This is the big culmination now, where we're going to be able to uh, end their quest line. I'm assuming what's going to happen is this is going to be them kind of taking over the region. And when they take over the region, that's good for us, because then they're going to be our allies, right? But we can't just go over there yet, because as you can see, I never really uh, unlocked anything nearby. So I think what I need to do is fast travel to this port and then sail all the way this way. Go here and unlock this viewpoint so we have fast travel in that region. Okay, and then head over here and do the mission. That's what I'm thinking. I, I, I feel like we've invested so much time into this mission structure that I definitely want to finish it. So we'll do this first. <clears throat> I didn't do that. What happened? He attacked by himself. Look at that loading. See, so initially when the game boots, it's maybe 10-15 seconds of loading. But then after that, it gets really good. Like, the loading is way faster after that. Okay, so we're going to hook a right. And we're going to try to get to this viewpoint here. Alright. Dangerous Dave said, let's go on a raid. Oh, we'll be raiding. Don't worry. I mean, that's the first thing we're doing is we're going to try to get to this, this place where the enemy of the Danes is hiding out. And we're going to try to raid it. So... Oops. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> sail up. Sail down. Sail up. Make up your mind, asshole. Hello, Jay Bowler. How are you today? Good to see you. What happened to King of Hypocrisy? I have no idea. I honestly have no recollection. <clears throat> Cookie Monster says, any chance of changing my weapon I have for ages? Ages in meaning one stream. Uh, no, it's my best weapon right now. If I have the ability to upgrade other weapons and make them better, I will, but I like this weapon right now. Why would I change it? Uh, hold on. Where are we? No, we gotta keep going. Kate wants to know, can I do this emo? There you go, I did it. Oh, fuck! I couldn't see because of the fog. That's what's wrong with me. I ran right into the ground. My boat is stuck. I can't move. My, I've run aground, my boat is stuck. I can't, I can't get my boat to turn. Who's playing the stupid guitar? Here we are. Go right. Turn right. I'm trying to. That's the viewpoint. The viewpoint's actually in the water. <laughs> That's kind of weird. Hey, hey, hey. It's Fat Ivor. What was that? All right, here we go. Climbing. What's going on? What's that noise? What? <laughs> I don't know why he's doing that noise. All I'm trying to do is climb here. Some weird shit's going on. What is that? What the? There's some glitchiness, man. There's some real glitchiness right now. Where is the viewpoint over here, it's saying? Uh. Right here on this guy's head. Alright, here we are. Synchronize! Very good. Synchronize! 
So now this will allow me to fast travel to this region, which is good. It didn't really add anything else to my map besides this. What is that? I don't know. Some kind of an objective. What's that? What the fuck is that? Let's find out. There's something over here. So this game is beautiful at 60 frames. It really is. It's so much more fun to play with the higher frame rate. <clears throat> A Norse warrior. Uh, I think we know why his head aches. Do I have any... <laughs> Uh, hmm. Hi, stranger. Excuse me. I have a slight pain. Do you notice anything on my head? It's a, an itch or a cut that simply won't go away. It appears to be a, a battle scar. Ah, as I suspected. It must be from my most recent battle. You should see the other man. He got the worst of it. Worse than... I suppose it's possible, yes? If he's headless? My arms are numb from battle. Does it need any dressing? Do you think it is a serious wound? Good Drenga. You have an axe in your head. It is grim. I will take it out, but you will surely head off to the next realm soon. Ah. Valhalla it is. I appreciate your candid response. Now I prepare myself for the sights and sounds of the corpse hall. I will relieve you of the pain it gives you. Sent you down the bee thrust. It is time. You know, there's a great mead hall nearby. We could go there and reflect on our greatest exploits. Nothing finer than an endless night of drunken glory. Make you forget all of the dishonorable fops in this world. Just skulls and warriors full of mead and story greed. Oh, yes. Let me weave you a hero saga from dirt and spittle. This one blustery battle day, I was inside a shield wall. And my wife entered the shield wall, nude, and started singing. Oh, we were so. What young. is that? Why is it doing so that? <clears throat> very nimble in our hugel <laughs> and our ways. What is that? The flashing it keeps doing, right? It was doing it when I was climbing over there too. I don't know what that is. It's doing it again. I'm not doing anything. It does that if an aggressive animal is spotting you. Oh. <clears throat> I thought, seriously, I thought my, this is my new controller. I thought it was broken. I thought it was fucking up or something. I was like, what? Yeah, look. Why? Dude, that is so stupid. That bird is aggressive. It's, it's tagged as white. Why would that be considered aggressive? Anyway... Dead Dove 100 tipped me two dollars. I hope your playthrough is going better. I picked up the game myself. I find it buggy as hell, especially the raids. At the time, your Viking buddies won't come help you unless you open a chest. Uh, if you open a chest or door, and they get stuck on everything. Um, I have noticed. Lately. Oh God, I have noticed some issues with things like that. Yes, I absolutely have. So, okay, let's remove the axe. All your enemies have been slain. Now, you rejoice. The wound wands of friends. Well, that was fucking sad and fucked up. Huh? Oh! Bunch of fucking snakes. What do we got? 
Roman artifact collected? I have not found a Roman artifact yet. So I guess it's some rare item from this region that I just got. Yeah, they gave me 180 experience for finding it. Okay. Alright, fair enough. Read. Order from a concerned priest. Dude, it really has to stop with that. That's so fucking annoying. That noise. <laughs> stop doing it. <clears throat> Alright. Let's continue on what we were doing here. Remember, we were trying to get to Soma to continue that quest line. Why does he keep doing the noise? So fucking annoying. Alright. Right here on this island. The dock's over there. Wait, turn right! Turn right! You... Uh. Come on, turn right. <laughs> What's with these boats? Stop, you idiot. I'm turning, I'm holding right and the boat's turning left. Oh my God. <laughs> Hush now. Hush now, shut the fuck up. Let's raid here, and when we're done with this raid, then we'll do the mission with Soma. So here we go, our first raid of the strain. I don't see anybody. A couple items up here in the buildings. Here we go. Time to raid. This poor guy. How do we get in the monastery? I don't see a door. The door is barred. A yeoman! Wow, I hit him with the thing, you just ignored it. That was not the block button. Oh, stun attack. Perfect parry. <clears throat> stun attack. I couldn't see. Stun attack. Kill him with his own spear. Nice. No, I don't want to carry. I want to loot. What the fuck? Where'd you come from? Oh, he flew completely the wrong way, but okay. So how do I get into the monastery that's now being looted and burned? No? What the fuck? Really? I can't open the door? There's gotta be a way to get in. Almost dead. Maybe there's an angle I need to aim? Or can I break this window, maybe? Yes! And now, I bet I can use arrows. No, stop climbing. Oh my god, stop climbing. No, I can't. But I thought, oh, I broke it. Now I can use the arrow. But, now I don't see an angle. To shoot through. Huh.
Perhaps on the rooftop there's an angle to shoot the door? I mean, the roof is on fire. I didn't do that. Someone else did. Or maybe you can get in through the bell tower. Oh, there is no bell tower. Never mind. I'm on fire. Uh. There's got to be a way to get in. I don't know. What the fuck? <clears throat> Someone's hit me with an arrow. What a dick. There's a window here, but can't seem to get through that. I don't know. What was that? Your time's up, the prayer is easy to do. You can actually kind of mash it. You don't have to time it. Anything in here? What's this? Some loot. What is that? Loot. <laughs> Just generic loot. There's stuff in this town, but... It says it's over there. Huh. Let me guess, the door's barred. Force open. Help me out here. Other people help to open the door. Here we go. Gonna feed the worms. I don't want that. What? Oh, you saw that? I, I ended up standing on top of the, the fucking podium. What is going on here? That was weird. Keep out of the marsh. One who will eat your soul, stay away. They think someone is in the marsh that will eat your soul. Okay. I'll swallow your soul. Wait a minute, how did he get in there without moving that? He got in here without moving the thing. <laughs> nice glitch. Hey, can't do this alone. Alright. That's some raw materials for our camp. That's good. Shout out to Conversalist, who cheered and said, actually if you go to Valhalla, it's great, isn't it like a never ending? A orgy party over there? I don't know. I don't know anything about Norse mythology in that regard, so I certainly couldn't answer that. You'd have to ask some expert on Norse mythology. We've got a new ability in this building, apparently. Oh, he's dead. I don't know what happened. Where did he go? Timbo Slice Tree said, I'll be here off and on today. I watched. I want to say, hope you can have an amazing Thanksgiving. FYI, no Xmas in the office this year. What do you mean? Uh, that, as I said, that happens right after Thanksgiving. I never decorate before. It's always right after Thanksgiving. We'll actually be decorating tomorrow night, right after our Thanksgiving dinner. So there you go. He missed. Can't block. Well, you're back to me, stupid. Stun attack. Yeah, you just you parry everything they do. Pretty good. Very good. Time you die. Done. Okay. Very good. Oh, it's underground? It's saying, yeah, it's hidden underground. So you know what? It must be that secret entrance. Probably gets us under there to get that item. Where's the secret entrance? Over here, it says. Maybe on the cliff side? Yep. Over here. Oh. 
Here it is. Um, so yes, uh, happy Thanksgiving, early Thanksgiving to you too, Timbo. I'll be here with uh, a little bit of streaming tomorrow, and then Christmas decorations begin on Friday. Will Moses Chu says, you hear Comcast is starting to implement a data cap chart and should charge people extra money to go over 1.2 terabytes in the, in the Northeast next year. It became a nationwide thing when you consider going to a different ISP. There is no other ISP I could do. There's nothing else here that's as fast as what I have. However, I don't have residential internet. What? Bar that, motherfucker. I don't have residential internet. I have business line internet, which is about, no exaggeration, three times as expensive as residential internet, which is why I have unlimited internet. If I didn't have <clears throat> the business line, I wouldn't have unlimited internet. And I'd be subject to data caps and the like. But the good news is, I pay way more, but I, I get the unlimited, so. All right, our new ability, Dive of the Valkyries. Okay. Okay, what is this? Launchers over to the air and come crashing down on your enemy. What the f How the fuck do you do that? Very realistic. You know, flying flying Vikings. <laughs> okay. Yeah, but the truth is, whoa, Moses. Most people pay way less for internet than I do. Um, most people are paying around, what, 100 bucks a month? I pay, no lie, almost 300 bucks a month for my business line, so... For the amount that I stream, I need it. It's worth the money. Because if not, they'd be nickel and diming me for every piece of data. And I would be able to do this for a living, quite frankly. I'd probably spend more money on the internet than on, like, my mortgage in a month if I didn't have the business line. So. Alright, let's continue to pillage. There's a lot of enemies in this building. I figure out how to get in it, though. Timbo Slice Judy said, with Mark Calloway having giving Taker rest in peace of Survivor Series, what's your favorite Taker moment? Or the 30 years of Taker. Well, I remember back in the day, the original Undertaker seeming like he was actually supernatural. Like, no one could beat him. He would he would always d oh, basically do the shit up in the middle of a match. I remember watching old Survivor Series with my family, like my my parents and my uh, great, my, uh, my godfather, actually, who got me into professional wrestling. No lie, it was my godfather who liked it. And we would go to his house and watch the paper. We would get the pay per views. And we, the, the Thanksgiving one with the gobbledygooker and all of that was uh, a Thanksgiving episode of Survivor Series. I remember seeing it on, on Thanksgiving. We went over to my godfather's house to have Thanksgiving with them, but his family. And he was watching the pay per view. And that's how I got uh, basically, uh, that's how I first got into WWE and everything. Where you're going. All right, hello. There we go. So I remember the old school Undertaker moments, but my favorite match of his ever was against Shawn Michaels. It was the first time they, they wrestled at WrestleMania when they were trying to pretend like he was going to end the streak. It was like one of the best matches I've ever seen in my life. It was so amazing. Okay, we cleared it. Letter to the Ancients. Writing, they're writing letters to fucking ancients. Maybe that's supposed to be a reference to the the actual plot, you know, the, the ancient hey, come here. immortal people or whatever. I don't know. Okay. Raw materials. Very good. Because that's okay to camp. That's right. See, one was just cheered. He said, wow, I never realized how stuff can add up uh, to be a streamer, how much it could cost. $300 for internet, $40 to $70 for every game, electricity. There's a ton. There's a lot a lot of stuff that goes into it. And keep in mind, I'm self-employed. And what that means is I have to pay for everything myself that other people would actually get through their employer. You know? So, wait a minute. My teammate got inside? How? The door was barred. My teammate got inside and is down. How did they do that? The door's locked. Oh, we can force it open now. They wouldn't let me do this earlier. Now I can do it.
Doesn't work. There we go. So he's he got in here by himself and was trying to loot, which makes no sense because the door was blocked. Whatever you say. <laughs> Alright, so that's the end of the raid. We did it. We got all the items for the raid. Cool. The monastery is ours. So that's good. And now, since the monastery is right next door to where we were going for the major story with Soma. Anyway, let's go do that, that story with Soma. <clears throat> we have to help the Danes. Okay. Yes, well, Moses, my parents did send us some food for, for Thanksgiving. They absolutely did. We got another another turkey roulade. It's a stuffed turkey breast rolling thing with all kinds of ingredients inside, and they sent us some sides and stuff. That's what we're having for Thanksgiving tomorrow. <clears throat> all right, here we are. <clears throat> they will have the lost souls of the dead to answer to. Cool. Soma. Eivor, you're still with me through all this. Do not think I'll forget. We all need someone in dark times. Now let's collect Whitman's head. Yes. Good. At the first sign of trouble, my crew will jump in. Wait, what? He retreated to the monastery? That's where I just came from. Are you kidding me? I just raided the monastery. Now they say I have to go raid the monastery. So the monastery repopulated? Or are they going to be like, okay, you literally just left there, so just walk in and do the, and kill the guy. All right, either way, this is going to be hilarious. My guys are still here. <laughs> Look. Asked about this land, my friend. It's the last he'll ever see. The thing is over here. So he's in this building. It's the last he'll ever see. Okay. Timbo Slice Trudy said, Do you ever find a pizza place in my area I enjoy? Some reason I had oh. the voices of my slaughtered people on the air, calling Wigman's. Fuck was that? I have an old video of your show up and recommended back in years ago reviewing a Pizza Mart pizza. Talking about looking for a good pizza place. A good delivery place? Not really. The best pizza around here is BJ's, which is a an actual um restaurant chain that's also considered like a pub and brewery. And they do this nice, uh, thick, deep dish pizza that's pretty good. It's not like Chicago deep dish. It's different. It's like deep pan pizza. And it's really good. Um, but you have to get it from them. They don't deliver or anything. So, that's the pizza I like around here. No, There's no East Coast pizza chains except Rocco's, which is in downtown Seattle. And it's insanely expensive, so it's not something you do all the time. I will tear his throat from his neck with my teeth. I've already looted this whole area. So where the fuck is this guy? Probably cowering within the monastery. I hear him. You hear his voice? The Paradox 988 just did a 95 bit year. I said, I wonder how long your Cyberpunk playthrough is going to be. Rumor says a guy's played it for 175 hours and not beat it yet. Yeah, that's the, the head of QA. Because he's basically trying to do every possible thing in the game to make sure that it all works. So. We're having some problems here. Uh. <clears throat> hey, come here a moment.
It's about fucking time. Holy shit. He's not even looking. What was that? You didn't even look. Ooh. <laughs> what was that? Stop the heathen. Raider, Vikinger, stop him. You're already dead, stupid. He means to erase me, to banish me from your minds. Fight in my name. Oh my name. god. What Die a game. For me. Die for me. That is no way to call for sacrifices. <laughs> Odin's pissed. Is that how it works? Their lives meant nothing. No land, no riches, no titles. But my name will live on. The reputation of a good man never dies. But your name will soon be a curse. So be it. The riches I had in life gave me power. To curse me from beyond the grave gives me still more. Though I die, my order lives on elsewhere, everywhere. Yield to us. Give us what we are owed. The trade, the riches, the legacy, all of it. So is she a Templar? Is that what she's alluding to here? He's part of the Templar order? I don't know. It's kind of a push. Yield, yield. <clears throat> if your hell is real, I'm glad you'll get to see it. He took his medallion. Remember he's getting these medallions for the assassinations or whatever? Good. <laughs> Yeah, this is basically like the proto Templars, right? We should return to camp before I let go and burn this heap to the ground. Going forward, I must take care. Houses can be built anew. Crops will return with time, but trust that will take longer to repair. But you have a new friend and ally in me and my clan. The end of the storm is well in sight. You're right. I know you're right. It's just. It's difficult to see that end when you're still in the storm's eye. Okay, return to the camp. So what's hilarious is we already raided it. <laughs> we already raided it and cleared it, and all we had to do was walk in and stab the guy in the chest. Pretty silly. But anyway, my, how long will my Cyberpunk playthrough be? Probably lengthy. If, if the game is good and the side content is meaningful, you guys know I like to take my time. I, I'll be in no hurry to beat it. And plus, at that point, I mean, it's, it's out in what? another week and a half so likely i will not be completing many other games i maybe beat one or two games tops between now and then so i'm gonna have a ton of other ongoing playthroughs to balance with it so it's gonna take a million years for me to beat it but am i gonna play for 175 hours doubtful i said this guy who's the head of qa was basically testing every possible thing in the game to make sure it all worked and that's what took him so long to <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Neck cracking. Eivor, you've been a guiding light. Calling out Galen like that, exposing his treachery, made me sick with a quiet terror. <clears throat> I did what honor demanded. A betrayal like that is already a kind of death. Galen killed himself. Of course. And now I feel somewhat lifted. The weight is almost gone, even if my heart needs mending. Ah, while I have you, Eivor, I'm reminded. I have this for you. Ooh. Keep it. What's that? You have my highest respect, regard, and trust. My army is yours, should you need it. Soma Yaltskona, my deepest thanks. Well, we got we got some loyalty and from the, 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 the Danes. Okay. As we prepared our assault, Birna had a word with me. We came to a sort of understanding. It may be best if she tells you herself. Okay. What is she going to join my Until army? Until next time, Eivor of the Raven Clan. I hope we will see you in Grandbridge soon. That was one of the recruitment quest lines to, to basically get it so that they'll be your ally. I wonder what the other one is. Okay. 
Eivor! Birna, you struck quite a victory today. Don't undercut your own ferocity, Drengir. It was your blade leading the charge. You are indeed something to behold. We all thought hard. And now Grand Brit is yours. You have your home once again. Ah, soon merchants and priests and reeves will run loose in its streets. All of its muddy charms will dwindle. Besides, with no room for me in Soma's heart, my home burned away in a quiet little house fire. Her priority is Grand Bridge and the people in it. That is noble and beyond what I will ever understand. So I've decided I'm of better use elsewhere. With you. In your crew. What? You want to live with the Raven Clan. <laughs> but I didn't say you could. With you, if you'll have me. Look at this. Who wouldn't? I'll be happy to have you, Drenga. A relief to these ears. I've already packed my bags. Uh, we didn't agree to this. Bullshit. No. Stay here. Will Moses cheer and... Oh, wait a minute. I missed a cheer. Excuse me. Oh, hard choices. I just earned a trophy. Complete the Grand Grandeur arc. Okay. Major story arc. Shadow the Hedgehog just cheered. 500 bits. Is where was Gondor when Disney bought the Star Wars franchise? Did Disney... Wait. Did Disney... Disney owns Lord of the Rings? No, they don't. Isn't that WB? WB owns Lord of the Rings, I thought. Disney doesn't own that, right? No, Disney owns Star Wars and, and Marvel, but not Lord of the Rings, right? Uh, thank you for the cheer, anyway. Romo was the cheer. He said, I know you said in previous streams the governor might start to ban people in the state of Washington from eating out in Washington. I think the reason he's doing this is because the study was completed. It says you're more than twice as likely to get COVID eating in restaurants. Um, Actually, there's no data at all. There's none. Because I, I looked it up. There's no data. They're, they're currently trying to figure out what actually is going on in Washington State, and they have zero hard data about it. They basically don't know anything, so the governor's just taking a shot in the dark. We'll see what happens. Anyway, Funny Maverick here, and he says, what do you think about the cyberpunk merch that's out there? There's a phone, shoes, clothing, and more. Do you think they're going a bit overboard? What are your views on merch in general? Merch is fine. People want to waste their money on it. Go ahead. <laughs> like, every once in a while, I'll buy a shirt for a game or whatever, but I'm not someone who's going to go crazy and buy an insane amount of merchandise from a franchise that even if I like, I mean, I own one Fallout I shirt, you know? <clears throat> Let's tell her the good news. But, you know, if people want to go crazy, let them go crazy and spend what they want, you know? I don't, have, I don't have a problem with it. But, obviously, some people always go overboard, right? Let's see here. Melee damage increase. Opening up all these different things. What's this one? Last chance healing. When your health reaches a critical state, everything around you will move slower and you give you time to heal or flee. That's interesting. I might get that. There you go. Golden Colts wants a Bunger shirt. A Book Snack sh Bunger shirt. Bunger, 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 Bunger. <clears throat> okay. Um. So that's done. So we can go back to base camp. But there was also another quest line. Was it there to recruit someone else? I think. Let's take a look. Or not. Oh, wait. That was it, wasn't it? A mysterious berserker? <clears throat> it's just a different mission about berserkers. I see. I guess we should go back and report. Let's do that. Let's go back and report. And maybe we can upgrade our base a lot. We'll see. Maybe we can upgrade our base with all the resources I got during this quest line. <clears throat> okay. Oh, that's right. I got to report and then I can select the other one. That's how it worked. You can only select one or the other. So once I now that I report on this one, I can probably select the other one now and start that quest line, right? Okay. Ah. Head. <clears throat> okay, report to Rondvi.
God damn it. Where's the door? Here we go again with this. There it is. <clears throat> Excuse me. Greetings. Here we are. We are allied with the Danes of Granderbridge Shire. Their Jarlskona, Soma, has pledged an oath. Well done, Eivor. These early victories will pay off well. They will. In more than one way, one of Soma's finest fighters, Birna, has pledged her blade to us. She is a powerful fighter and a charming spirit. I think she'll fit in nicely. Glad to have her. Good work. So that's one down and there's another one to do. <clears throat> Eivor, a word of note. Someone has set up shop outside. Ah. A trader, I believe. When you can, ask him his business here. He seems to represent a larger guild. The child's eyes, or the eyeless children? Eyeless children? No, that cannot be right. <laughs> ask him yourself. Oh, let's see here. Timbo Slice Charity said, G4 this week is doing their first new content. They had a cash reunion show last night. They're doing charity streams on Twitch the holiday weekend. You feel the network will do good now? I have no idea. I wish them the best. I hope that they put out quality content. Because a lot of the major games media these days do not put out quality content. I'm just saying. Okay. All right, here we go. The alliance map. Here we do the other alliance now. <clears throat> Here we go. The letter Jupiter. Tell me more about Letter Chestershire. Oh, Letter like Chestershire. To soon. He traveled to a town called Repton to meet Uba and Eva Ragnarsson. As I hear it, they are on the verge of exiling the current king of Mercia with the hope of installing a king of their own. A bold endeavor. I should be there to help however I can. I think you should. All right, let's do this next. Yeah. Let a sister shire. I won't keep them waiting. Good. I will send word to Sigurd and the Ragnarsons, pledging your assistance. If I were you, I would go by ship. Repton is quite a distance north on the River Trent. Okay, let's see where it actually is. It is. Wow. So by ship... It's still fucking far. Yeah. But what we could do is hit up these viewpoints along the way. So at least you get fast travel unlocked along the way, so that way it's not a giant journey back, right? <clears throat> Thank you, Obi Gaming. He says he's enjoying the playthrough so far. Preverox says, well, do I watch the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade? I haven't watched it in a million years. I used to when I was much younger, right? <clears throat> okay. So we got new shit here in the camp. Let's see what this stuff is. One of them's a vendor, I know that. I don't know what the other one is. <clears throat> that must be the merchant. Who's this? Hi, Thum. Randwi asked me to see you. Oh, okay. About friends in the cities of England. That's right. London, Jorvik, Winchester... All three are infested by members of the same order to which Kyotve belong. But their reach extends much further than this. The Templars. Of all the lands on Earth, I believe England is the most overrun. Do they cause here the same turmoil Kyotve caused in Norway? Not just turmoil. They spread a plague of delusion, teaching men and women to abase and abuse themselves in exchange for power. You have strong feelings about this. Of course. This is the sole purpose of the Hidden Ones. ...to liberate the body and spirit of man from any unnatural shackles. But we have not hmm. operated in England for over four centuries. Since the fall of the Roman Empire, the Hidden Ones <clears throat> have not had a presence here. This absence has given the Order of the Ancients ample room to grow and thrive. Our task will not be an easy one. But with a bureau, Basim and I could begin our work. If you have the time and spare resources to build one, we would be most grateful. I will see what I can do. So it's actually an Assassin's Guild you can build here, huh? <clears throat> well, I have enough to do it. The Hidden Ones Bureau. Let's go ahead and do it. <clears throat> cool. Colony 2 of 6. My colony's gonna upgrade now. Yes, level 2. Renown has increased. 
I think I could build one more now. This will make a fine space for my work, Eivor. Thank you. Well, if your work benefits us, I will see that you keep it, for as long as you live among us. I believe it will, for we have common cause against our enemy. They have dug their claws deep into England. <clears throat> Eradicate them where they are strongest, and the alliances you seek will be far easier to come by. In London, they now operate without restraint. If you were to eradicate them, the city would be in your debt. I will talk with Ranmi about your idea. Get her thoughts. Good. Yet, before you do, there is something else. A gift I wish to share. Hmm. A gift? Another ability, I maybe? I show you here. Will you <clears throat> walk with Yeah, maybe we're gonna get another assassin ability. That'd be cool. Alright. <clears throat> All right, Scotty Freeman, thanks for the cheer. Don't ever ask me a stupid question like that ever again. All right. Letter to Hytham. I'm not reading it. Okay. I hear heaven as to you your serve the light. Heaven. Does your wound still trouble you? It does, I'm afraid. There is a pain in my chest for which I have no remedy. Rest easy, then. So long as your mind stays sharp, you will recover. Of course. Though I am reluctant to displease my mentor. You would risk your health and your life to please Basil. That I do not understand. I should not expect Daytime you to rain with a blue when sky. You first arrived, I noted a shadow <clears throat> of suspicion in your eyes. A doubt. A weariness. Is that a question? No. Only an observation. <laughs> anyway, to actually answer Scotty Freeman's question. No. All right, now we can continue. Are you well enough to stay at this boat? I am. Have no worry. It is only prolonged stresses that exhaust me. My energy runs low rather quickly. Okay. <clears throat> so we chill. We chill while he paddles. Hopefully he doesn't run us into like... Oh, is it a big fish? Can you fish in this game? We'll have to spend a few hours doing it. And what is this gift you <laughs> wish to give me? Will not come from me. It's a gift you must give yourself. Aww. No riddles. What fun you are. Let me say it another way. <clears throat> My gift is not for giving or taking. It is a way of living. Oh God, he's a vegan. It no. A better demonstrated than no. And I will wait. Forgive my jest. This gift we call a leap of faith. Ah! Oh. He's gonna device. teach you the leap of faith it's finally. Not a tool we use against our enemies, but an act we embrace to strengthen our resolve. Like your meditation, it centers our minds, steadies our hands, and purges fear <laughs> from our hearts. And more practically, it aids our movements in flight or in stealth. You call it a leap. We are climbing a rather steep hill. <laughs> there it is again. The shadow of a doubt. Nearly there. Our destination is there. I suspect you mean to throw me from this cliff, is that it? Please tell me if I'm near the mark. And spoil the surprise. <laughs> Shadow the Hedgehog did another 500 bitch here. He says, I'm of Scandinavian descent. I did not even know that. Thank you for that cheer and that knowledge. Embrace the hope that death will not come before you are prepared to meet it. Believe this. And you will fear nothing. Our deaths are prefigured, weaved into the fabric of the world. To fear this would be a waste of worry and tears. Hmm. Good. Then your mind is already attuned to my lesson. It's interesting. So the Nor in Norse mythology and Norse cultural beliefs, they believe that your entire life is predetermined and destined. And you can't change it. You can't escape fate, I guess. Huh. Which is funny, because essentially what we're doing is we're playing in the Animus. So this is true. His whole life already happened. We're just reliving it, right? Oh, is Phyllis the descendant of Scandinavia? I first. Maybe I am. I don't know. You must follow. Lean into your faith, into your strength, and take flight. You want me to jump from here? Yes. I would sooner grow wings and fly away. Thank you for the lesson. Uh, Wait and watch. He's gonna do it. Hide them. Hide them. Pig-headed fool. Are you injured? You see, my 
My faith grew stronger than my fear. And that loam cushioned your fall. Eivor, I have not seen this side of you before. Do not feed your fear. Conquer it! <laughs> I've seen my death in a vision. It was not here. Not today. So he should be able to survive it. Timbal Slice Chewy said, Hey, look, 10 hours into the game, we'll now learn how to do one of the main skills that you do in every Assassin's Creed game. The Leap of Faith. Oosh. Oh, shit, he broke every bone in his body. He can't get out of the haystack now. Look, he can't. Look how, ha, <laughs> ha, look how confusing. Eivor, oh, shit. are you well? Eivor. Eivor. Speak. You're like, Eivor. Are you this dead? Is not how I foresaw things. This is great. This is great. He's freaking out. He's dead. He died in the haystack. He broke every bone. He snapped his neck. Ha <laughs> ah, ha Surprise. A perfect fall. And how did it feel? You spoke true. It was madness and vigor. A purging of fear. A gift I give myself. I see that now. Thank you for showing me the way. That was the way. He showed you the Thank way. Thank you, Eivor, for hearing me out. You call wow. this leap of faith a sacred rite. Do all hidden ones practice this same ritual? As far as I know, it is a rite of initiation that dates back to just before the birth of the Christian Jesus. Are you hoping to initiate me? I might try if I believed you would join, but that is not my purpose in England. Bassem and I are hunting larger prey. The Order of Ancients. Yes. You remember the medallion you took from Churchway's body? That is their symbol. I got another one. Just don't tell them. When we hope to purge from <clears throat> this world. Like us, they act in secret. But their aim is to rule the world, not free it from unnatural fetters. The desire to rule is not unique to this order. Sigurd and I want the same. <laughs> the land to call our own and the honor that comes with it. Do not compare yourself to such people. The Order has no honor, no principles, no humanity. But lots of they landscapers, apparently, because I can hear them. Do you guys hear them? If you seek to pacify England for the safety of your clan, then it may be in my interest to give you aid. I understand. You desire alliances. We seek to rid England of its deepening rot. Where these hopes meet, our cause does too. You may think this land ruled by harmless jarls and bumbling thanes, yet look more closely and you will find a deeper threat. The Order's invisible hand touches all. It shapes everything, instilling its poison into every level of society, from the loneliest fishmonger to the richest merchants. Hmm. Bassam has given me one task here. To locate and eliminate the Order of Ancients in England, in whatever dark corners they reside. If we work together towards this end, it will benefit us both. You will have greater influence over the kingdoms of England. And you will have more medallions to count. <laughs> exactly. You should begin in London. I have credible reports that the Order is working now to seize the city. I will speak with Ranbury about this. And while you are there, be on the lookout for our symbol. Centuries ago, the Hidden Ones had bureaus built around England. There were six, I believe. Hmm. If you can find them, search them well for documents bearing the same symbol. It will greatly aid my studies. I will. Thank you, Adam. For all six of hidden assassination guilds, or assassins guilds. The Order of the Ancients. The Order of the Ancients is a secret society of pagans. Oh boy. That has infiltrated every level of society to spread their dogmatic worldview. Sounds kind of like those the, the people the secret society had to kill in the last game, doesn't it? To root them out, clues can be found across the world. Zealots. Zealots are hired mercenaries that assist the order and enforce their decrees. Finding and eliminating them will provide clues on the identity of order members. Unveil and eliminate. Sounds a little familiar. Clues can be earned by forging alliances, exploring England, and assist assisting those in need. Once... Once all clues for a particular member are found, their identity is revealed and they can be tracked down. Sounds kind of familiar. Okay. Order hierarchy. There's a hierarchy system. So we already killed Wigmund. Completely inadvertently. We didn't know he had anything to do with our quest line here, but apparently we killed Wigmund and this was already done much earlier. See that? Hunter and Leif Gifu. Leif Gifu. The Lear, the Crozier. <laughs> okay, then. 
Um, let's see here. Free Jerome reset for 11 months, saying his girlfriend's a big fan of mine and loved watching my Minecraft chill streams back when I was still doing them. Sounds good. Um, and he also says, am I ever going to go to Miami? I have no idea if I'll ever be in Miami f at ever again in my lifetime. We have no idea what the hell is going on with this world right now, right? But thank you for this, the resub. Scotty Freeman, Chase, do you have a favorite band? I do not. No, absolutely not. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. <clears throat> so, we did that. Let's, let's do the, the new Curious New Merchant quest while we're here. Those landscapers are really loud. Good day, new customer. Whether I am or not, I am the one you'll speak with. <laughs> Randry tells me you are merchants. Ah, hello, hello. Are you the leader of this bustling encampment? I speak for him. We come on behalf of a thousand eyes. Vendors of uncommon goods and exotic treasures from all corners of the world. If you need it, we have it. If we don't have it, you don't need it. Such is our pledge. <laughs> I see. And is this child with you? Child? Child. My friend, you look upon the master of the thousand eyes. The head of our guild. A legend. A hero of the people. And the richest merchant west of the Indus. What? You look upon Redder. Uh... Please, you? He does, Eivor Wolfkist. It is a pleasure to meet you at last. So, could it be that this is someone who has like a growth, uh, an issue with their body's growth? So they're stuck in like a, a younger or smaller body? I've seen stories about people like this. Where their bodies don't properly develop and they end up stuck almost looking like a child for their whole life, although they're technically older. Maybe that's what they're getting at here? Maybe. Um, Eternal Napalm, cheers to Copy Pasta from Odyssey. Yes, that whole order thing is absolutely 100% Copy Pasta from Odyssey. For sure. So, okay. <clears throat> 